Hey everyone, it's Jeff with Covet the Camper. I uh, wanted to do a couple quick videos showing some of the modifications that I've made to my cab over camper over the past couple of weeks. Uh, we just got back from a week-long trip over spring break to Pinnacles National Park and to Pismo Beach. And we needed a little bit of upgrades before we went. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I have uh, 2003 Fleetwood Elkhorn 11J, which is pretty much identical to the Lance 1171. It's an 11 and a half foot camper with a slide out in the dinette. Uh, right now I've got the slide out in and uh, camper's still on the truck. But I did a couple of modifications to the camper um, to accommodate my growing kids. So um, one of the Upgrades that I did was I installed a bunk bed over the dinette. This and this. Um, and then here's the bunks that uh, you put in place. Uh, they're pretty lightweight, so we just leave them up here when we're traveling and uh, put them in when we need okay, them. Okay, so with the slide out uh, in, in the out position, you can see there's quite a bit more room. I have a lot of extra space here. It's about uh, 20 inches that it that it bumps out, uh, which is really nice. But this dinette bed worked uh, great when the kids were small, um, but they're they're getting pretty tall and um, not really wanting to share the dinette bed anymore. So the solution that I came up with was to put a top bunk uh, the same size as the lower dinette when it's made up. Um, with two platforms that are separate. So one of them sits on, on this piece here, and then the other one sits on here, and they're bolted through with uh, um, a little uh, threaded plastic nut and uh, T-nuts on the bottom. So they, they go through that hole and they thread in and they, and they tighten down. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and grab the, the bunks and, and install them and uh, show you how quick and easy it is to uh, to put these in you know just minutes before they're ready to go to bed we put it together all right so this piece goes into the slide out area by the windows slide over these brackets that I put up just like that Other piece which is the main bed piece and I should mention that the whole thing put together is 72 by 40 and on top of that and this is a mattress from a massage table and uh, it's super comfortable 40 bucks on eBay slides in like that. Just make sure that the holes are lined up. And these little nuts fit right in. Just like that. And tighten down. It's not going anywhere. And then this little guardrail slides right over that. And then I've stored my ladder in the bathroom on the hanger. So this is just an RV bunk ladder. Pretty easy. Got it bungeed on here doesn't go flying off when you're going down the road and it goes in these little brackets just like that so there it is got another bunk you can use it with the dinette up or the dinette down of course we we'll use it with the dinette down and another bed when both kids are ready to go to bed they uh I guess sleeping bags and it's uh it's been working out great. We just took a 
uh, a full week trip and um, they were a lot more comfortable on that than they were when they were sharing the bed. So um, both of these uh, side rails here are bolted through the existing dinette um, using bolts and and uh, T-nuts. I don't know if you can see that. T-nuts there. T-nuts up under there. And there's another one up here on both sides. So these are bolted through with T-nuts. Yeah, you can't see that one. But uh, really secure. And then, of course, it's bolted to the, the um, framing around the slide out. Super sturdy. It can hold... Um, this three quarter inch plywood, and then this is solid cherry. Um, it could easily hold an adult. Um, and uh, super comfortable. It's a three inch mattress pad from a massage table. And uh, the fitted sheet that you buy for the massage table fits right over the top of it. And then uh, my daughter just puts her sleeping bag on top of that. And it's a, uh, you know, easy setup and easy takedown. Um, you know, a minute, two minutes tops for setup um, when you're doing both the uh, lower and the top bunk. So works pretty good. Um, and then this thing just slides over the top. Uh, yeah, so the whole thing probably costs, I had a lot of the lumber. Um, I bought the ladder, that was 50 bucks. Um, the lumber was maybe maybe a hundred, 120 bucks. It was a sheet of plywood, sheet of three quarter inch um, plywood, and of course, solid cherry. So, and I had it all done in about a day, you know, working on it for a full day. So it's a pretty good little mod.